Gear up, guys. Shooting with motion capture actors was awesome for us because we shot the movie 100% on location in New York City. I was always imagining on the first film what Raph maybe looked like or felt like in a scene, and seeing it come to life, it's like, holy cow, it really is just, it's amazing. What are you, superheroes? <laughs> All that mocap gear has really become a second skin, you know, at this point, which I think the, is the beauty of being able to come back and being able to jump back into the story. This must be what they came to Brazil for. It's an interdimensional portal opening thingy, my bob. That technology added to the fidelity of the actress' performances. I'm a triple threat, brains, brawn, and obviously a dazzling personality. It's one thing to kind of see pictures of the turtles. It's a completely different experience to watch your performance, your facial movements, all, all of this stuff, because it's so detailed. If we could get our hands on more of this stuff, it could be life changing. I know that if I raise my eyebrows, that that's going to be a great look on Donatello. Or I know if I've got my mouth hanging wide open, or make this kind of a face, it's going to look weird on the CG turtle. It's kind of a, a fine line between what you're feeling as an actor and what's going to transfer well onto that CG face. Actually, I'm in charge on this one. Ain't that right, Mike? You're right. I stopped seeing the mocap suits like two days into the first movie because their personalities shine through so strongly that I, I don't see like the weird cameras on their head. Our performances have to hold up next to those live actors. So when April or Casey Jones are, are standing there talking, our turtles have to feel as real and as alive. Yes, 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 yes! Ah! Is he coming in kind of fast? Ah! Ah!